Hello, this is Mr. Frank, and welcome to Learning Target 10C. I can interpret and analyze data from a circle graph. So here's where we are in the unit. We're halfway through our learning targets, and <coughs> let's get into our lesson. So quick review. There are 360 degrees in a circle. Remember we talked about that when we were doing arc length. Um, and also remember we talked about a central angle in the arc length formula. That was the letter N. And a central angle is an angle formed by two radii. So just a quick review and refresher for you on those definitions. And just to look at what a central angle is, I cut this pizza into fours. These gray lines here represent the radii, and the central angle is formed between two radii. So that's shown in purple. All right, so let's get into circle graphs. What can they tell us? Let's take a look at this. Favorite pizza toppings. What do we see here? We get to read this graph, and hey, it looks like a pizza also. Isn't that kind of cool? So uh, one, one slice is 50%, and we see that's in green. So 50% of people's favorite pizza toppings would be pepperoni. We can look at this key to see that. If they just want cheese, nothing on it, that's 25%. 15% for sausage and 10% like the supreme. But we can show lots of things, not just pizza. We can show budget. So we can see what percent Kara is spending on rent, entertainment, clothing, food, and other things. And it's a really easy way to visualize uh, a lot of information. So we can visualize information about lunch sales. And notice here, 40% of people show sandwiches, 21 salads. Desserts were 15, soup was 15, and beverages were 9% of total sales. Total sales for those percents. And look, the total sales is $2,000. So we're actually going to figure out how much they spent on each item as part of this lesson. Um, not just what the percent of total sales is, but we'll get a dollar amount too. So let's get into it a little bit. So percent totals always add up to 100% in a circle graph. So Let's take a look at eye color. 44% brown, 30 blue, 13 green, 4 gray. What percent would be hazel? Now, we can try and eyeball it, but that's kind of hard because we want to get an exact percent. But we know the percents add up to 100, so let's add up what we have so far. We got a 44, a 30, a 13, something for hazel. For, and that's all going to add up to 100. If I add up all these numbers here, 44, 30, 13, and 4, I get 91 plus something is going to equal 100. What's that something going to be? It's going to be 9%. So that's how we could figure out the percent of people with hazel color eyes, because we know all of these percents are going to equal to 100. So next one is let's try and determine the amount. Remember I talked about those lunch sales? Well, now we're going to do this with flower sales. We're going to determine the dollar amount. So if we know total flower sales is $1,200, and we know that because it's shown here in the graph, $1,200 right there. So we want to find out the dollars sold for roses. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the percent, um, so, percent um, sold that are roses by the total amount. So what's the percent sold for roses? Let's see. That looks like 18%. I find it right there on the circle graph. So I'm going to multiply 18% by $1,200. So let's put those into fractions. Because we, percent, we, there's a percent sign there. We can make that a decimal. We can make that a fraction. Remember how to make a percent into a fraction? It's per cent. And cent means a hundred. Think about century as a hundred years. Centipede. There are a hundred legs on that bugger. So uh, percent is means over a hundred. So we would do 1200 over one because we can make any whole number into a fraction by simply putting a one in the denominator. And then we do 18 over a hundred. And remember when we multiply fractions, we just multiply across. So we would get 21,600 over a hundred. You can either put that in your calculator or remember you can cross out here. We've got zeros on the end. We can cross out those zeros. And we'd be left, whatever we do on the bottom, we can do on the top. And we're left with $216. So our answer is, given $1,200, $1,200 in flower sales and 18% of roses, $216 in sales would be roses. So now it's your turn. Let's take the same flowers here, $1,200. Find the total amount of carnations sold. 
So pause here and come on back with the answer. All right, let's see what you got. So you should have done $1,200 times 35%. Let's make them fractions, just like we did on the last slide. We'll multiply across numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. We'll simplify, and we get $420. I hope you got $420. If not, maybe go back to the previous slide and get a little bit more review. So $420 in sales for carnations. Oh, I put roses here. That should say carnations. Sorry about that. Now let's find the angle of a slice of a circle graph. So if there are 360 degrees in a circle, right, we know that. That was one of our review items from earlier. And we want to find the central angle of a slice. We're going to multiply 360 degrees by the percent of the slice. So let's take a look at eye color again. So we want to find the central angle for green. So green here is 13%. 13%, we're going to measure 13 multiply, I should say, 13% times 360 degrees. So let's make them into fractions again. There we go. We'll multiply across, and then we'll uh, either put it in the calculator or simplify. You can move the decimal place over 2 there, and you get 46.8 degrees. So now I want you um, to find the central angle for a brown eye color. All right, so look at brown. We're going to pause here and come back in a moment. All right, welcome back. Let's see what you got. So uh, we should have 360 degrees times the percent for brown. So that would be 360 times 44% right here. Let's make them both into fractions. And we'll multiply across. And you should have gotten 158.4 degrees for the central angle. And remember, the central angle is right here for brown. That's this angle right here for the darker blue. All right, so now I want you to tell me which statement is false about the circle graph. Is it 60 people surveyed have blue eyes? So figure out how many people have blue eyes using total people and the 30%. The central angle for blue eyes is 108 degrees. So find the central angle right here for blue eyes. Do 39 people, 39 people surveyed, do they have green eyes? So figure out the number of people with green eyes. Or the total number of people surveyed, were they were that have green or hazel eyes? Green or hazel right here. So you have to add those together and figure out the total number of people. So which is a false statement? So pause here, figure out which is false, and then come on back. All right, so I want you to bring that answer back to class tomorrow. So... As always, if you could spend a moment, please let me know what you learned or were reminded of. And questions that you have, what are they? I hope you enjoyed the video.